morning children today we are going to learn about the three states of water which are the states of water it's a solid form of water liquid form of water and gaseous form of water do you know which is the solid form of water yes it is the ice and why do you call it as a solid form because it is hard and it has got a definite shape now what happens when this ice starts melting yes it goes into a liquid form which is water by itself yes now what happens when this water gets hotter and hotter or gets heated up after when it gets heated up and it reaches a particular temperature that is it starts boiling yes and you have seen when the water boils there are bubbles coming in and along with that what comes out there is a vapor that comes out and this vapor is called the gaseous form of water i will show it to you how it forms here i have kept a kettle to boil for the water to boil and can you see the vapor is coming up in this form of this vapor is called as a gaseous form of water and now you saw the gaseous form the vapor turn is called the gaseous form now when this vapor cools down the water cools down and it forms as water droplets again it falls down as water you can see it on this you can see over here also can you see yeah the vapor is turned into the water form now all these are called as a cycle yes why is it called the cycle it goes around that is first we saw the solid form that is ice then we saw when it melted we saw the liquid form which is water itself then when it got heated up and got into a boiling temperature it became vapor which is the gaseous form again when it cooled down it became water now we are going to learn about water cycle water cycle is a process that happens in the nature and it is because of this cycle we get rain and this is a continuous process when the sun's rays hit the oceans the water in the oceans the lakes and the ponds this water gets heated up and it goes up in the form of water vapor and it reaches a particular height and when it reaches a particular height it go becomes water droplets and when these droplets join together to form clouds and when this clouds become very heavy they cannot hold the water so what happens it falls down in the form of rain so this is water cycle to sum it up and to make it more clear we will do the same in the uh, google meet as an experiment thank you